Morning guys, how are you? Hopefully you guys liked the last video. Oh, it's bright as hell. It's so hot today. It's like 95 and just full sunny. And then like tomorrow's Wednesday, so it's Rachel's birthday, so no video. But Thursday and for like the next 10 days, it's supposed to rain apparently. I really hope not, but anyways, I'm just going to jump straight into the car. Here's the car. Uh, the flares, I know last night this camera's crap at night, so... I want to show you a better clip. So I took the gas cap off, just just in case you guys are wondering actually, because it just holds on this hinge and two magnets, you can like literally kind of a little bit open it and just pull it out. But I did mark where I'm gonna cut it, just a little bit more. As you can see, the Bondo method wasn't working. It's way too thin to hold it in place, but I did start to fiberglass from the inside and that seems to be working a lot better. It's kind of holding the position that I want. Um, I'm gonna go run to the store now because I need more paper plates um, for the Bondo to mix on because it's like a one-time use thing. I, I don't even know if it's been like an hour of working on this thing, but it's... It's absolutely horrible, it's like a heat wave. Basically, um, it's kind of been a while since I last recorded, but basically now I'm gonna be making the other one. I realized that the angle of the edge was totally wrong, so I basically cut it off, and now it's re-angled a little bit more out. And I'm gonna be making the curve. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly. And then the other flare is sitting pretty hard on there. It's my grandma. Um, it's pretty, it's sitting pretty hard on there. You can, it's pretty solid if that makes sense, but gonna do this quickly I, I really can't take this heat this is so horrible around my eyes it really hurts for some reason because I got sand in it because the one time I took off the goggles while sanding got sanded and I got it out and I think I just rubbed them too much because they burn or I'm also sunburnt from yesterday too around here I don't know my skin just hurts today's just horrible I'm on I'm on my second shirt exact same shirt from when I used to do construction but second shirt and it's just drenched and this is horrible basically I remade this as you can see it looks like crap but um, Bondo will fix that up so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this down over here because I did actually make it a little bit wider doing that and I'm just basically test fitting it I am probably gonna have to redo the edge and then after that I could start filling Bondo into these areas and then I'll probably also throw Bondo on the flare because like I said it's pretty solid now See what I mean now? It's pretty solid. You can even see the fiberglass coming out of there. But I'll probably do this in the same Bondo sesh or something. Probably start to put it down right here on this little edge just so I can start sanding it to be rounded and nice and everything. Probably have to grind that off the fiberglass. I did sand the I, I did sand the paint around here too for it to adhe adhe adhere to it. The only thing I would say about this is that the fact that this stupid thing right there, but I can always bondo that up a little bit and make that perfect. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good.
Gucci Gucci. There's some little things there, but I'll probably focus on it later. But I made uh, some quick tabs right here, as you can see the mounts. So I'm just gonna go take a screw and just right through. I'm gonna go mark where it has to sit on the rear bumper, draw a line so I know where to actually place it. And then uh, I'll probably take the bumper off because the good thing about the rear bumper and mounting this is that you can you know, do whatever you want to make it more comfortable for me to work on it. Unlike the fender flare going onto the body where you know, I have to deal with how it is. Obviously, I know, the vent. I might actually go to uh, Home Depot soon to find if they have some kind of wire there maybe and uh, cut the hole, put the wire there and kind of resin it in from the back. But worst case scenario, I could always do this later because like I said, the rear bumper, you could always take it off. I made the brackets, I drilled the holes for the rivets through them and uh, I marked off where it's gonna be. I think this is good besides where I put that paper, that's where I need to make an edge because I think that curves too much, but other than that, I am going to go cut out this box right now, like I said, um, and then I have a Dremel rounding thing so I'll round out the edges, just leave it as a hole just to make it look better for the moment, but I think this is uh, pretty good. Oh, there's the hole. So, I think that's going to be it for today. Today is absolutely horrible. I don't know if you can see how red my cheeks are. I don't know if that's from sunburn or what, but God, this is like, aha, horrible. I really need tomorrow. Um, like I said, tomorrow there's not going to be a video or anything. Um, obviously, Thursday night there will because tomorrow's Rachel's birthday. So, if you can, so guys, just do me a favor. Go to my Instagram m3babe underscore and just go to my profile and literally the most recent picture I'm gonna post is celebrating her birthday so just comment happy birthday Rachel or something like that it really mean a lot to her I think we're leaving off in a good spot looking more and more like it every day I really like this vent and does really make it look cooler um, obviously I am gonna take the bumper off and cut as much as I can off behind this flare so it's just the flare really there because obviously you don't want to see the bumper through the thing it's kind of stupid looking 
but I'm glad we're making such progress. Today was absolutely brutal. And it says Thursday on it's supposed to rain, but we'll see how true that is. Regardless, we could, we could still make progress on the car by doing the flares and stuff inside. Maybe not mounting them, but we could still make progress. So I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thanks for watching, as always.